What's going on guys? Welcome on back for another vlog. I am on a mission today to fix my stream room because in my last vlog, I tested out a new camera that I'm vlogging with right now. It's the Sony ZV E10 and I thought it looked absolutely amazing. And I even used the built-in mic and it sounded great, honestly, like I was genuinely blown away except for in one room. For some reason, the built-in microphone on this camera just really picks up the echoes in my stream room, even though I have a bunch of foam panels all throughout the room to dampen the echo. And in person, I really don't hear it that much, but because I do have like 15 foot tall ceilings, I guess if I really listen to it, it is a little echoey still. So that's what we're gonna fix today. Luckily, I still have a handful of these sound absorbent panels. I think I have about 10 left and some pieces. So I wanna get these things placed up high up on the wall, but the only problem is I don't have any more command strips. So let's go to the store. command strips and picked up a ghost because I was really craving one and I'm a little sad because I really wanted their cherry limeade flavor which I've only found once and it was the best flavor of any energy drink I have ever had. I know I love my sneak but ghost cherry limeade go try it greatest thing ever. I wish I was sponsored by them. Anyway let's go uh let's go take care of this. Here's what we're working with so far. I have a bunch of panels already way up there in the corner I don't know why that's even above the closet. I don't know why that's a space, it is what it is. Nothing up on that wall up top, nothing up on that wall up top, but down below, have a bunch of foam panels there, have some around this TV as well. Those little hexagons are somewhat absorbent, and then some right there on the back of the door, but need some up there as well. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to end up ripping off some of these that are already up, just so I can have them matching in pairs and other places up top. But I'm gonna go grab Bronte so she can help plan this out with me and also a tall ladder. So we have 16 total, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. So I think we should do, since these two walls are the biggest, we should do six and six. Okay. And then four on that wall. Like maybe. Yeah, two above the bed. Two up there, two down there. Yeah. I don't know, we'll, we'll play around with it. But that means we have to take these big ones and the one, the ones on the back of the door. Okay. And replace them with the small ones. Sounds like we got a plan. Fingers crossed. I don't fall off the ladder. Let's get going. Well, how does this sound? In person, it sounds so much better in here. It's not nearly as echoey. There's definitely still a little bit of an echo, but not like how it was before at all. But let me show you what Bronte and I ended up doing. So for this wall, I added those two squares, added two more way up top, and then on the side walls, added six, and then same thing on this side above my gaming setup. And then we ended up taking some of these panels that were on that back wall area and we just kept going out with them a little bit. And now we have six panels on the ceiling, which I honestly think that probably did the most. And then where my closet is, these used to have a few full size panels, but ended up using them in other places. So we just have a bunch of half panels all along this wall. But overall, I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. I am getting ready to go live right now and stream some Jedi Fallen Order, which I'm almost done. I probably only have like two parts of the playthrough left. And then next week is going to be X Defiant. They announced another open beta and I loved X Defiant when I played it. What was that, like two months ago? So I'm gonna enjoy that while I can. And then the following week, I'll probably be starting Alan Wake. So lots of fun games that I'm gonna be playing soon on stream. But also, can we talk about the Xbox game show this last weekend? Like Xbox has had a terrible last honestly like 10 years, but for the first time and genuinely like forever, it feels like there's some hope for some Xbox and PC players when it comes to Microsoft stuff. Like they showed off the new Fable, which honestly kind of has me a little excited. Most people thought that trailer was CGI, but it was in-game footage, which was mind blowing. And then they announced the new Star Wars Outlaws game, which 
honestly looks 20 out of 10. It's an Ubisoft game, so it's not technically just Xbox, but it looked amazing. But the thing that blew me away by far the most was Starfield. I'm generally not a hater of games, but for the last year, I've been hating on Starfield. I don't know why everyone was so hyped for the game. Like if you really go look at the gameplay that they showed off last year, it did not look good. Like the gunplay was terrible. The frame rate was terrible, but everyone just kind of ignored that. But this year, holy crap. Like, I don't know what happened in the last year, but they got to work and it looks so damn good now. So in this case, I love that I am wrong and now I'm genuinely pumped for that game. And then we also have just a bunch of other random cool games coming out. like. The new Assassin's Creed looks good. The new Cyberpunk DLC, which apparently they're completely rehauling the base game as well. So that looks awesome. Like, I genuinely think this might be the best year in gaming since like 2008, which is insane that that's been so long ago. And potentially a lot of you watching don't even remember 2008, to be honest. And I know multiplayer gaming has definitely been down, but gaming as a whole, like especially the single player games has just been so damn good this year. Had an absolute awesome stream. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really glad that I've been streaming on YouTube. It has just been such a vibe and it's honestly way less pressure than streaming on Twitch. Like I'm so just genuinely happy that I'm streaming right here on this channel. And not to mention all of the crap that's been going down with Twitch. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen all of that just between so much bad PR and just weird decisions left and right from Twitch and Honestly, it just doesn't feel like Twitch supports their creators and streamers anymore. And I love being on a platform like YouTube where they genuinely care about making their creators grow with them. So overall, life is good right now. I'm really happy with where I'm at right now. And I seriously appreciate you guys so much for continuing to watch these vlogs and come to my streams and just support me in general. But yeah, that is going to do it for this vlog. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.